Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I'm going to talk about how to fix Wu Chang Fallen Feathers is having an issue with controller or gamepad is not working and how we can fix this app. So let me directly get into a step. So the first one is all about we need to enable or disable the Steam input and then we have to restart the game. To do so, we just need to go over here on the Steam. Now if you're here to get into this, right click on the game, go to the properties. Now go to controller and go over here and first we need to set this to enable the steam input then we have to check with the game. If enabled steam input is not working try disabling the steam input and you have to check with the game. That might work. So this is what you have to do. Now we have to go back and you have to launch the game then you have to check. Next one always use wired connection. This is what you have to do. Step 2 is wired connection so you should be using the wired connection and this is what you have to do. Next one is all about, we need to use the this one that's called PlayStation Controller Enable it in the Sound Control Panel or use the wired connection. To do so, we just need to go over here or let me directly get into the control panel. Now from here, we need to navigate to Sounds. Now we can see these are available thing. So if we connect to a controller, you can see you'll be getting a separate box here for like this for the controller. So I don't have any control right now for the moment. So if you have the, once you connect the controller here, you have to select the controller and if it is disabled, you have to enable it. Right now, as you can see, it is enabled. So that is why I'm getting the option disabled. So select your controller from here, then right click on the controller and go for enable it. Once you enable the controller, you have to right click on it. There is an option called, you have to do this on the controller. Don't get confused. Right click and go to the configure speaker. Now from here, as you can see, if you get the stereo, you can select this one and go for the next and make sure that you put a check on both these two things. For some users, you'll be having an option for Quadro. If you have having the option for Quadro, you have to select Quadro, then go for next. Put a check on all these things, then go for next, and you have to set this up, and you have to check whether the issue is solved or not. Next one is all about, we need to use the PlayStation controller users use DS4 windows. So just go over here, search for the DS4 the windows just go over here and you have to download this particular one so this is actually a tool in order to download it and you might be having some case you, you, you might be having so if you're having the windows over here just right click on this one and you have to download this from the google chrome then you have to install this if you have not yet installed you have to install this as you can see i have not yet connected any controllers using this we have to update right and that is what we have to do Next one, we need to update the controller using the PlayStation accessories for the Xbox accessories app. We have to use either the PlayStation accessory app or the Xbox accessories app. So if you go over here on the store, click on the Microsoft store. Now from here, if you go over here, click on Xbox. If you search here for the Xbox, you'll be getting the Xbox accessories. Just get this particular app. Now from here, what we need to do is just click on get and you have to update your controller this is very important just update because i don't have the controller that's why i'm demonstrating you with this just download this particular app then you have to update your controller and you have to check next step is all about after trying with this you can try the next one launch the game in this big picture mode so just go over here in the steam there is an option called big picture mode click on this one so that you will be redirecting to the big picture mode now once you get into the big picture mode and this is what you have to do once you get into the big picture mode just launch the game from here and you have to check next step is all about after trying with the still if you are having the trouble then we just need to go over here we need to disconnect all the additional usb adapter connected to your pc unplug all the keyboard disconnect additional joystick controllers etc and you just need to do everything and if you have any virtual controller disable or uninstall them that is what you have to try after you try this most probably these steps can kind of help you guys out and this is what you have to do and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification that's it bye bye